can feel that it's a Friday. We want to hear what you're thinking. Get us on social media. Can competition between siblings actually be a good thing? Yeah. A writer for the Washington Post recently explored this issue, and she says that although she sees value in sibling rivalry since it might encourage kids to achieve, she worries that it may be damaging for children to compare themselves to one another. I have to throw this to Derek again because Derek's one of five kids. <laughs> And, and for people who probably know this, but you and your sister Julianne specifically, because you guys have been competitive dancers. Oh, I hate her so much. <laughs> I'll beat her you were always. Bitties. You have danced together, and you've also competed against one mm -hmm. another. So how does this work in that realm? Okay, where do I begin? Um, you know, first and foremost, I will say that I believe that competition is healthy. I think that. Um, I do also think, though, <laughs> that. I would agree with her that comparing yourself is different. Because I think that when you have competition, sometimes it's hard to measure, mm -hmm. right, to be your best. You're like, well, what is my best? And sometimes when there's something there, you can go, OK, I need to be better than this. And that, so, so it's measurable. Mm -hmm. but, that, but it's more about focusing on being the best that you possibly can be. You know what I mean? Okay. You, you're right in saying, like, you don't want to compare and be like, because what you focus on is what you feel, right? And a lot of times we focus on what we don't have. So we're like, well, I don't have this, or I'm not as good, or I'm not as pretty, or I'm not as talented. Mm -hmm. But focus on what you do have, you know what I mean? And I think that's going to help you get better and better at what, whatever you're doing. But I think as far as comparing yourself <laughs> with family, I think at the end of the day, when it is family, you, you, it needs to come down to being supportive and being happy for one another's successes and, and you know, cheering each other on, being each other's cheerleaders. And you can have a little competition here and there and nudge each other, but at the end of the day, support each other and love each other. So. <laughs> Stephanie on Facebook completely agrees. Here's what Stephanie says. She says, my younger sister's attending a school of medicine to be a doctor. How do you compete with that? My siblings and I are very different, but ultimately what keeps the bond strong is supporting each other's achievements, which yeah. is what you said, Derek. My kids are seven years apart, a boy and a girl. Blaze specifically ordered a brother when she found out we were having a... <laughs> She said, I don't want any girls over here. They can go live at their aunt's house. <laughs> Um, if, if that happens. So along came Dash, but here's the thing. Dash is outgoing. He's a performer. He loves to dance. Mm -hmm. uh, he's out there, says hi to everybody. Blaze is more reserved. And there's something, this dynamic that happens between the two of them, and I can almost hear and see what she's thinking as the machinations go on in her brain. She's going, why is he like that? You know, why is he, why is he the one that can just go up to anybody and introduce himself? And I can't do that as well. And I can see that. And so there's this thing. What she doesn't get is that her little brother idolizes her, just wants to be her. He wants to be older, wants to be her, but there's something to his gregariousness that really puts her off a little bit. And so what we've learned, it's, it's really parenting by personality and really trying to just offer each kid what we know is best for them and supporting them in a way that really highlights their talents and pushes them forward. It's hard, right? It's an everyday thing, but it is so hard. Yeah. And that's the fear, right? That's the fear that we, I think a lot of us have. And anybody is like fear of not being enough. You know, and you think like, you know, well, they're doing better than I am, and I'm not enough. I'm not worthy. Well, it must have been know? extra hard for you because you both are in the same. Like, you and your sister both dance, right? Sure. Like that. I can't imagine how much more like. Uh, like, my sister and I had nothing in common. Like, she was blonde and blue-eyed when she was born. I was brown, obviously, brown yeah. hair, brown eyes. <laughs> and so we, we, she had, we had completely different interests right from the get-go. And I feel like it caused a lot of fights when we were kids. My parents were worried that we wouldn't get along, but it wasn't competitive fighting mm -hmm. as much as it was like, I just don't like you. Right. I don't like anything about <laughs> you. I don't aspire to be you because I don't like you. And that went in both directions. Yeah. And now I think we do the thing where we celebrate each other. But if we both were interested in the exact same thing, like, she wanted to be a TV host, Mm -hmm. and I want to be TV host. I, how have you managed it? I, I want to say this. I want to say this. It's interesting because, because you know, when we did compete, I always won. But, uh... Ah! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's, 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 it, actually, it's funny. I did until we did Dance with the Stars, and then she won back to back and beat me, and, she, and I'll tell you what, she loved that. She was like, <laughs> I beat you. Um, but you know what, it's funny, what I've realized as we've gotten older is that when a family member of yours succeeds, you succeed. Mm. When they win, you win. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the thing, we're on the same team. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. It's like, if it's, their successes are your successes. And I think if you look at it that way, then... Unless you're terrible at what you do. Like, if you have... She's <laughs> at it. Like, why am I so bad? Yeah. Um, you're both really good at what you do. I think that helps. <laughs> 
Sometimes, I mean, I, I, I picture, when we're having this conversation, I picture Venus and Serena Williams. Right. Mm -hmm. So you and Julianne dance, but at least the stage, like, you're not on at the same time. Like, you dance and you and do your competition. And male, female. And, you exactly. Know, yeah, yeah. Whereas, yeah. like, Serena... By the way, I'm not going to lie, that helps a little bit, too. Yeah, exactly. it's, yeah. it's so yeah. different. Yeah. That we're feeling, yeah. Yeah. Think about Venus and Serena. They're actually staring across the court at each other, and they're smashing at each other. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's not even... And they, they don't let each other go easily. No, yeah. And that is, to your point, competition can be healthy. Absolutely. In fact, we all win when both of them play the hardest and the best and they are fair with each other it's fair competition and then at the end they shake hands and they hug each other and they go have popcorn i don't know yeah yeah so yeah. <laughs> it's true it's true i think that's the way it is i think the key words the key words is competition and not compare you know competition what I mean? and not compare. Not compare because I think that it's about it's about being the best you possibly can be and having something that you can see like I need to be I want to strive rather than going like well why don't why am I not like that you know and then you start comparing then you start going to a negative state and then you focus on the bad things and yeah, that's not going to exactly. get you anywhere so and then it's a race to the bottom after that it's that's true it. speaking of siblings happy birthday to my sister today Rosanna Aww. yeah As I said off the top, my husband and I are obsessed with this season of World of Dance. Mm. And this has been a killer, killer, killer season. So Jenna Dewan, of course, is hosting this alongside J-Lo and Neo and you. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look at Derek in action. I would just say, just that last, on the oversway at the end, the little, oh, here, let me see, let me see. Yes. Demonstration. At the end, I just want this shoulder down a little bit. That's it, just pin that shape. One more time, ready? One, two, three. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Good job, good job, man. Good job. Yeah. I swear, next season, Derek is gonna compete. I know he is. <laughs> How'd you know? So good. Okay, no, that's so, good. yep. Yeah, My husband and I, funny enough, we actually said the same thing. I'm like, he totally wants to compete. Um, <laughs> Let's go back. This season, even more so than the first season, is so jam full with international dance yes. talent, top tier. So you now sometimes have to go in there and be like the play the heavy. So how do you have to give them criticism that is going to make them better without crushing souls? Well, that, that's what it is. I think we're not in the business of, of crushing dreams. We're in the business of feeding them. You know, feeding dreams, and, and that's what we respect everybody that steps on that stage. You know, we admire them um, and, and just their athleticism, their creativity, their artistry. Uh, so we try to build them up. And even if they're not ready, we're like, hey, come back. You know, and that's what I love about this show as well. It's just like in a normal competition, like, you know, tennis match. You lose one year, and then you're like, okay, I'm going to come back the next year stronger yeah. and better. And that's what has happened on this show. Mm. Um, but, you know, I, I, again, I just, I'm just in awe of this amazing talent. And it, it really is. You know when people talk about, like, season, like, this season's better than ever. It really is. Yeah. It's like, it's, it is. I'm like, wow, this is so good, so good, yeah. We are going to see you again soon because in a couple of weeks you're going to be back for the iHeartRadio MMVAs as a presenter. It's going to be hosted by Aquafina. Yeah. So what are you? What are you most looking forward to? Um, I'm I'm just looking forward to the whole experience. You know, I'm BB Rex is performing. Uh, Shawn Mendes. Mm -hmm. uh, he's. He, uh, you know, Shawn Mendes, he actually works out at the same gym I do in, in L.A. And uh, so I'll see him around there sometimes. But, um, but yeah, he's fantastic. It's funny, I actually lived here several years ago for a couple months, and I was a block away, and I looked down, and I'm like, what is happening in the streets? You know, and it was the awards. Oh. Um, and so it's kind of cool, like, you know, full circle, you know, several years later, I'm going to be here presenting at the uh, amazing event. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Amazing. Yeah. You come around these parts as long as we're part of the uh, the circuit. We'd be love. We'd be always happy to well, have you. After party salsa dance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bell's your girl. I'm Bell's in, your girl. Guys, that's all the invitation I've been waiting for. <laughs> Derek, this has been a pleasure. Thanks for My coming pleasure. back. My pleasure. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. All right, everybody. World of Dance Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern on CTV2. And don't forget, he is, as you just mentioned, presenting at this year's iHeartRadio MMVA is airing live Sunday, August 26th at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on CTV. All right, we are so full of stars today. Jillian Michaels working out with us now. <laughs> After the break, tap into...